Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Staxel and the key was provided by developer. I have no idea what kind of version this is. It says Sapling 1.2.32 blah blah blah. Uh, so I can tell you how much of an alpha on early access it is. I played it for a few hours and I really liked it. Let me just check how many hours. I played for 6 hours. Uh, this is a block based um, kind of like Minecraft um, simulator of farm and it's very pixelated however I generally like the game I like the graphics and the, it has a lot of content um, even though some people say it gets old I don't know I'm not really not for me yet I made it through one season I didn't build much I don't have much problem with money uh, so overall I'm liking the game so far I'm gonna try to show you the basics uh, kind of like a guide for just very basic um, stuff in game uh, let's just go through the options for a while uh, what what's there how I set it up so uh, I don't know about third person how you do it to be honest I don't know how you change to third person um, yeah no idea Advanced. What's advanced? Yeah, this is not. Uh, I, I went into low graphics because I wanted to see as much as possible, uh, just to have it quickly and uh, nice pacing of the game without any lags. Uh, this is in window mode. This is the resolution. We can change field of view quite a lot, which is nice if some people have motion sickness. And graphics, I didn't change those really. It's just probably on auto detect but I switch off much stuff and uh, audio is rather low I mean I maybe we can go with master to 25 just in case no music of course um, and we have also languages how many languages there's actually eight languages in the game so far the controls uh, we should just go mm, just like that without changing Controller input, mouse. Actually, you can change mouse velocity even here. There's lots of options. Uh, very well done. Uh, do we have the most important part? Let's just check. I'm just looking for one thing. I'm looking for this um, change of keys into. Uh, I don't see it really. It must might be here. Into this uh, third person because I never did that. I don't know how you do it. Is there an option to switch into third person or is the entire game in third person? I don't know. I would like to have an option to switch back and forth because I was using it uh, in um, what game it was? Uh, Portal Knights. Sometimes you want to have this um, first person, some, uh, sometimes third person, depends what you're doing. I don't see a button, so I don't know if you can change it to third person. I'm gonna just play as I always play. Uh, so that will be it. Uh, before we start, um, the game uh, might have very strange starting. It's sh opening some windows, a uh, very strange green bar is going on, then it doesn't react for a while and then it loads. So don't be afraid, the game might just take longer to load. For me it loaded correctly. Uh, I generally ran into one big bug that is causing a game to be all grey, like there is nothing. Like as if you were in darkness, but it's grey, not dark. It uh, you can hear a character like walking and stuff, but you cannot really see anything. In my case, it helped to uh, restart the game. I just quit the game and restart, it. not the computer, just the game. But not into many. You have to actually quit the game and restart. Uh, I read on forum and there was a lot of technical talk about graphic cards and switching off um, multi sampling, which I had off anyway. So that's not in my case. I, I had this bug once in six hours, so it did happen to me, but I was able to fix it. Uh, you have one save from what I understand. Uh, I didn't play multiplayer, I don't know how. Uh, I think it's this whole server IP I never used, I don't know how you do it. Not sure if, can you just j jump into any... Yeah, you can jump into a game, but I'm not gonna do it at all. I, apparently you can drop in somebody's game so you could have a game with friend. I would like to play in multiplayer but I have nobody to test it with. Let's see if Catherine of Sky has any server. No 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 not this Jesus Christ I messed of course. What is this? What friends? The hell is this? Ah uh, no idea. Okay so multiplayer 
Uh, why did it go into something like server numbers? I don't get it. Uh, okay, so server list um, Katrina Sky. I don't know if she has any. Maybe she's not playing. Maybe this one, Katie. But I don't think so. Uh, I watch her videos anyway. So cheers if you're watching. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go in single player. Show you what I did so far. This is my world. And uh, I should have checked the options. I think you can make a bigger world as well. But I'm just gonna load my world as this. It's like kind of like default. I think they are different, the worlds. But is it broken? No, I don't think it's broken. It just loads like this quite a long time. Uh, yeah. Can't do anything about it, but I just, I just want to show you how long the game loads because it might lo uh, start long, it might load long, and you can have the bug. But overall, it works. If it starts working, it should be working correctly. The graphics generally remind me of Lego, especially the um, flowers. Uh, for my test, there is too much pixels. It's called stack cells, so probably it's something like stacks of pixels or voxels or whatever they are called. Uh, I would prefer to be slightly less pixelated, especially when it comes to characters. Uh, but uh, even though it is pixelated, I like it. And I don't like Minecraft, so if I like it, there must be something. Kind of like all those elements in games, uh, crafting, survival, uh, building, digging, and so on. And most of it is here. There is no combat and no really survival. Uh, if you don't make money, you just don't progress. But you don't have to. You can also, I guess, play in creative mode. Overall, if you want to make money, you can. You can do it in many ways. Uh, if you don't, nothing really happens. You just stay in place. You can always uh, even sell some blocks uh, to um, merchants, or you can catch bugs and sell them. So there's not not really a problem of uh, losing all your money. The only problem is that you can deforest the area, and um, I think you can grow trees back, but I'm not sure if it's easy to do and uh, those trees don't grow as big as those uh, default ones. So if you cut out all the trees, it might take a while to get them back. I'm not sure why it's loading so long. I'm just checking what I'm doing on my PC and not really a lot of them is happening there. I hope it loads because it's really long. If not, I'll have to just start in, from inside the game, but I don't want to. Probably this bar is nothing. I don't think it's this much loaded only. So I have to just go through it. Oh my goodness, uh, it's painful. Please load. Oh, now it's loading. Okay. Oh, actually it went to summer, even though I finished around 16. I don't know why, maybe because I was loading so long. So it's actually the second season of the game. Oh my goodness, what the hell? I'm starting to feel sleepy in the new day. Okay, so this is generally how the game looks. Uh, this is the agrable land. This is some stuff that keeps growing. I can harvest some stuff. Yeah. Some stuff dies supposedly when it's not its season and we just changed season. So I'm just gonna harvest those cucumbers. We're gonna sell them instantly. We're gonna take some poop from the cow. And we're gonna milk the cow. Just basic stuff you do on your farm. I think I lost the other cow. I know where she is, so we might just look for it. And there is an NPC. Okay, there is no other cow. Those are some trees that I uh, made here to grow them. Yeah, I heard there is flies on the summer, so I'm gonna catch a fly. Uh, let's see if something interesting is there. I don't think so. So, I'm starting with uh, selling uh, via this, um, well, uh, thing here. It's used to sell stuff. Um, you can take stuff from catalog. Basically, you can order any element of the game via catalog. And you can sell stuff uh, also by the catalog. And pretty much all is used by my tools. I'm going to show you all the tools, I guess. So, we are just going to put here the cabbage. And then we're gonna put here our cucumbers. I just want to get money when we fall asleep. Uh, generally speaking, nothing happens if you fall asleep. Uh, you just uh, 
wake up in the same place, nothing happens, you don't lose any stamina or anything like it. But there is no problem with that. So as you can see, making money is quite easy. You can just sell a couple of things that you grow, uh, milk from the cow, poo from the cow, a fly, a uh, few vegetables, and that's it. It's just going to be shipped and we get 1,000 points or other times 1,000 money next day. I'm now not sure why, why I see uh, 7,000 money. I don't recall having this much. Uh, so what to show you first? So maybe I'm gonna first show you how you can make buildings because it might be a sort of guide. Uh, the game will is from time to time is going to give you quests. So I had a quest to build a barn, and the quest it's telling us to have any blocks, any roof blocks, uh, actually any blocks where the roof is or should be, and two troughs. So those two troughs are just here, empty. I made this pillar. And I just covered it with normal blocks, normal wooden blocks, nothing very sophisticated. And this counts as a barn. You don't need, you need to do the walls, you can do it any way you want, you can make it pretty or you can just meet the requirements. And you're gonna have the barn done. Now this is the same story about the pier. They wanted water, the water was there. This is just the pond that I had. The wood is, um, I don't know where is the wood actually. Maybe the wood is already in something, or maybe it counts some wood, like this wood, I don't know. And then fish rack, bait box and bar uh, had to be created. And that's an NPC. So I kind of have a problem with NPCs and general characters. They're rather ugly, I would say. Uh, I don't like this level of pixelation. However, the world itself is quite okay. It's quite nice. Those blocks are not that ugly. So I can uh, deal with that. Uh, right, so maybe I'm gonna show you the house. That's just the house you have. Um, what did I do? I have this here contraption that is making a uh, seed out of plants. We can use that. Then we have um, this is how you collect, uh, not, not collect. This is pretty much your chest. You can put simply items in the, uh, well, in this something. I know what it is, wardrobe or whatever. And every shelf has a couple of uh, places, like you can use those places and just arrange items. How many places there are? I think six places on every shelf. So there is 24 slots and you can just buy or make more of these um, furniture and just keep everything there nice and uh, without any problems. It's hard to get because normally you would look for a um, chest, but instead of chest you have this. This is actually pretty good, it works properly. This is a cat, you can feed it or her. I'm just gonna switch off one thing so I can see all the screen. Uh, you can also teleport home anytime, so that's quite neat. Uh, normally you can, what, you can check the cat, now she's happy, but she's also hungry and didn't give her any food. This is where she lives, she lives in a house and this is the empty bowl. Uh, I had a hole in the wall, so I put just some dirt in there. This is the bed, you can go to bed if you want earlier, and then it just goes on to next day. And those are some uh, crafting tables. We have one for cutting, one for frying, one for mixing, baking, and boiling. Uh, there is a lot and a uh, lot of crafting in this game. You can also switch a broken window to a full window, like this one was switched to full. Um, this is purely just visual, aside from crafting tables. As always, you only need um, storage space and crafting tables. The, everything else is just um, visual. But, uh, well, if you are creative, you are going to make beautiful things. If not, you can just make the basics. I'm going to use this. Uh, what is this? I think this is all of it is just old. I'm not sure how you progress quests. That's a problem. I didn't. We really get many quests, and the last one was to make um, barn and this pier. And apparently, there is like a museum and other stuff. However, I have no idea how to trigger it. So so far, I'm just making money and um, you know, pouring water on my plants and basically making money in any way I can. What is it? This is the dead cabbage. Yeah, it can't grow. Okay, so this is dead. How can I destroy it? Do I destroy it like this? No, sit. A sipe, whatever it's called. Uh, it's there. Is it? No, it's a hole. What is the side? I have it. Okay. Dead. Okay, so this died because it, it, it was summer. 
Now, easy way to get a seed is just to cut plants like this. And you might get some seed on the ground from it. I'm gonna just cut more. Oh, there's the seed. You can just plant it and hope that there is something nice growing. Or you can also uh, keep the button pressed and this way you can destroy more things. So this was the site. Maybe I'm gonna show you all the tools. I'm just gonna change into what is that? Not, not exactly all the tools because I don't have all the animals. So from the left uh, we have hammer. Hammer basically destroys something. Like we can destroy this fence, pick it up, then we can put it back. Uh, where is it? And one, once you put it back, you can turn it with mouse wheel, and there it goes. Right. So we can uh, pretty much destroy every single block in the world. You can destroy also on all the NPC houses and everything. You can loot the entire world and sell it. So it's empty. Um, unless you want to meet the requirements of a building, then you have to have like specific parts in there so that it's on the land, like this bar needed two troughs and some roof blocks. Uh, and everything else you can just loot. Uh, okay, so the next one is what else? I'm just trying to roll. So this is for making agrable soil. You just do it like this and you can put plants there. If you need a lot of it, you can of course make more. I don't really have many seed. I also don't really feel I need to have this much money. Some people play it so that they have like thousands of money every season, but I don't see much point unless you're really building big structures. You just slowly get money anyway from this or another source. You can just sell whatever you grow. You can milk cows constantly. I think they eat grass as well, so we don't even have to feed them. The other cow disappeared. I mean, yeah, I guess she is. I don't know where she is. Okay, so uh, what is next? Uh, that was hoe. Now we have this um, bug net. You just catch bugs, just as I did with the fly. If you see a, any insect flying around, you can catch it. Usually people say to do it for money, but not necessarily. You can also pick up anything, like acorns fossils. Oh, this one is for pickaxe, so sometimes you need to do specific. I'm just looking for any uh, bug, but I don't see any. What is it? It's a flower. No, I don't see any bugs or whatever. If you see any, you can just take the bug net and use it. Uh, this is for cutting trees, uh, an axe, and they will dis be destroyed like this. Everything goes down and you collect wood. However, as I said before, you might have problems with um, getting them back. So you should either grow your own trees or just pick which trees you want to destroy so that the entire area is not completely uh, devoid of trees. However, of course, you can as well destroy all of them. If you don't want any trees in your land, you can just destroy them. Uh, this is for digging. So you can just dig blocks with a shovel. Those blocks on the... Um, well... On the top will have grass, and those uh, deeper will have usually dirt. Even deeper, there's usually stone, so you can dig like this. And you can as well uh, dig bigger parts. For instance, if you keep it pressed, you can just dig like this. Everything just goes uh, and because it becomes destroyed, and you can then create something here, right? Whatever you want. Uh, this is pickaxe. This is mostly for stones and fossils. I cannot do anything with fossils because you need a museum. So you can basically dig uh, stone with them, just like this, or you can keep it pressed, destroy it. You can also dig down, uh, dig down quite quickly. You just keep it pressed. It destroys all the rock. You then do the same. And you can make big hole quite fast. So that's how you dig. If you want to have something underground, of course you can. And then you have to somehow make it out of there. And then we have the side. Of course, this is mostly for destroying uh, the foliage, the plants. I might as well just get some wood for here. Why not? And this produced some seed as well. So let's just pick it up. Usually picks up everything that's near. 
this is quite convenient more wood if we need any I'm not sure if I do but we can take some right those are supposed to have berries but I don't know when they grow and how so I don't know not sure maybe I'm gonna uh, now show you the catalog before we go anywhere further shroom you can sell so let's take it uh, so this is the catalog and it's quite vast so this would be everything this is 92 pages of items so tons of items this is if there was a hundred would have uh, four times five twenty times hundred that's yeah one thousand uh, nine hundred twenty items in the game that's a lot that's really a lot and so we have seed various seed various plants all of it can be just bought. If you pay 30, you just get it and you can build with it. Uh, those are furniture and other stuff, like baskets. You can even put items there, I guess. In some uh, furniture, you can just put items. And wardrobe, not really, because this is for your character's look. But the other item can be used. Also, you can put items on tables. You can make bridges. You can make, uh, like, a scarecrow. Tons of different um, types of um, hard material to build from it cases anything you want there's just tons and tons of assets here all very pixelated some are just different by color but there is really vast amount of them those are what uh, those are shop window block what is just normal block okay it's just yeah tons of different blocks some are also uh, kind of tilted like diagonal so you can make nice roofs with them uh, rails as well kinds of stairs just different colors but just the doors and that's like 11 types of doors some are just different color but some are quite different flooring from uh, rock uh, bricks or stone or well wood that's quite a lot of them as well some are just different colors like leaf block you can make something from leaves like for an elven house or whatever this is probably from winter, I don't know why it's called winter. Winter, maybe it's just snow that falls. I'm not sure what happens in winter. Uh, I just made it to summer. And then what is this? And those are just probably, yeah, those are stations. Not all of them. I think sink is used for water, but I'm not sure if you need water. I don't think you need water. Maybe you need it for something. I didn't really do everything. Uh, right, so that's just all together. Overall, a lot and lot of uh, assets. Now, what is this? You can uh, order something. Yeah, and then you're gonna see it here. Then you pay for the expedite and you get items in a big crate here. And if you sell, you just put them here. They become sold and you get the money after uh, well one day. Every day you get whatever you put in the chest, so it's quite useful. It costs like 5,000, but there is no problem to get it. And now what else? Um, I can try to put those seed, just in case. Maybe something will grow in summer. I don't know if they are random. Do we get something that cannot grow in, in summer? Uh, also, you can use uh, this watering can to water your plants. I'm going to water the cucumbers. Sometimes they are also water when there is raining. So what I didn't show you. I didn't show you the milking thing, which is just for milking cows, so easy to use. Nothing special, just click the cow and you get the milk, you can sell it. And this should give you quests, but as I said before, I don't know how you can trigger them. So this is one of my working stations, this is for carving. And one of course for constructing this is quite complicated. I'm gonna show you in a moment. I don't know why this is not uh, it's, it's giving light, but it was a different angle. A few more stations here. We also have tiles, uh, one more uh, chest of sorts with everything on display, so we can easily uh, have some order with our items and assembly station, combine station, soul station. So this is roughly all the stations that exist in the game. And I'm gonna show one more thing. Oh, you can also put stuff on tables. I keep some uh, wall torches, eight of them. If I need light, and here I keep my fossils. Of course I could put them in one uh, stack, but I just decided to do it like this. 
Uh, selling is quite a problematic. I'm gonna show you the selling. Uh, it's because you have to sell everything piece by piece, and uh, you can you have to always put stuff into your hotbar. So if something is not in your hotbar, it might be problems. Also, you can angle for fish. I'm not sure if you can do it. Maybe you can. You can angle here. Well, let's angle. So if you angle, you have to start it when it starts twitching. I think. And then you have to do a QTE event of sorts, and then you get the fish. Okay, so we do it for one, two, three, four, two, three, three, done. Okay, that's how you do it. So this is QTE, you get the fish, and you can sell it. I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna show you how you sell. I looted some houses, so we can do the same. You can just loot some uh, more valuable things like computers and TVs, sell them so we have a, a nice head start. Or you can play it like legit, uh, just by farming and doing other things. A clownfish, okay, so let's do it. So you put the clownfish on the cell, you see the price, then you have to go down with your cursor, and now when you're um, aiming at this box, not on the fish, you have to see the sell command, you press right, right mouse button, and this is the way you sell. This is not very nice, uh, rather annoying to be honest, but that's how you sell, there's no other way aside from this um, box. But then you also have to move everything into your uh, hotbar and then to the selling, so that's just how it works. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the NPCs because I don't know why I would do that. I wanted to show you my another... Let's just see. Look at the map. Map is just beautiful. You can even move here. So my house is there, and I can go like this. Very nice. It wo works very fast as well. So very, very well done, I must say. Uh, supposedly there's also a mine somewhere and some shacks in the woods, but I didn't find them, so I don't know where they are. So I'm near my farm. Everything is nicely glowing. And this is something I started building with torches, so I can see that where it is. This is my underground base. I did this cross here, lit. I don't know why, because I'm probably uh, a deity of my own religion or something. And this is the place that is supposed to be an underground farm. I, I wanted to actually grow mushrooms here, but I don't know if you can. So probably I'm just going to grow anything here. I have those two uh, plots of land, I simply dug it out and uh, I put some dirt here so I can grow stuff here underground for, some, for whatever reason and I did those stairs. If it's one uh, block you can just go like this without jumping so it's quite convenient. And right, so I think I showed you all the um, elements to interact with stuff. We are of course going to now use the uh, watering can. Some stuff is growing, it's not dead yet, so maybe it just gives us random stuff that grows. Can I just destroy it? I don't know, I don't want to. Uh, I'm going here, I'm taking money, why not? Can we sell something? I probably could, but I don't want to. I'm just leaving it. Maybe we can sell shrooms. I don't think I need them. Probably I need them for cooking, but no, I, they are worth zero, so whatever. I'm keeping them. I normally just put stuff on the shelves. For instance, if I want to get rid of those petals, I don't know if they are useful for anything. And let's see. Like this is a probably yellow one. If I put it there. Yeah, this is the name and I place it there. And this way I keep kinda order in my inventory. Inventory management is always a problem in those games, so you have to make your own way. You have tons of co containers. Also, it would be nice to have named containers, like chests, while you don't have them, you just have those uh, wardrobes, or whatever they're called. Chests of drawers, no, they're not drawers. I'm not good at uh, furniture names, so basically this thing, uh, I don't know, maybe some signs would be nice, to have a sign with a name uh, over it, so we know what's where, uh, to order things better. Right, I have to also show you the crafting and the journal. So journal is, well, journal is quests and I did them. So I'm stuck. I just have five quests and that's it. I don't know how you push it forward. 
no idea. I just did all I could. The last one was to do, do the fish. Maybe she wants more fish from me. Maybe I should, should give her fish. Maybe I should give her fish. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to get the next one. So whatever. And uh, I have to find the menu for crafting. I'm trying to go uh, press J again, but it doesn't work. I can milk the cow as well. I'm being sidetracked by this game. That's why I played for a long time. Now I can do it. You can't milk her if she's doing something, like eating. You have to wait. Uh, so, now I'm going to click... What am I clicking? Not this. This is inventory. Inventory is on tab button. No. Tab is everything. Tab is everything. And the first... Uh, well, the first piece of the tab is uh, our inventory. So that's what I was using all the time. Now, this is achievements. All the fish you get, well, not that many of them, but all the fish you get, all the insects, uh, I want to go back. Uh, this is probably fossil, but I don't know how to interact with it yet. Uh, this is a work of art. Maybe it's hidden somewhere, hard to say. Uh, this is something like achievement. Uh, Grid. So, for instance, it tells you smash your first rock and then find ten, ten fossils. I'm not sure if you have to find fossil and then polish it or just find it. Hard to say. Uh, or obtain a painting. Some of it gives you then rewards. Like if you do this, you get oat seeds. If you do this, you get fishing head and so on. So it's kind of keeps track of what you can do. Like catch ten bucks. I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I didn't catch hundred bucks. If I wanted to be head, not saying I need. Okay, mining helmet and stuff like that. So yeah, you can get stuff by doing things, but aside from that, this is just achievements with some rewards, which you might need or not. Uh, also, people generally say that you should be using uh, beehives to make money, but to me, I just made money with whatever, and it was okay. Apparently, honey is the best thing to just have a lot of beehives, and they will give you money. Uh, okay, so this is crafting. Actually, this is cooking. So, uh, as you can see, if you want to make something, you need, of course, the part, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, cabbage, but then you have to cut it, then combine it, and then you have the salad. So, after you have the parts, you have to use specific crafting tables to make the entire thing. So, this is like uh, divided into stages. For instance, to make soup, you have to cut beet and then boil chopped beet and water. So we need something to boil and something to cut, and of course you need a jar of water and beet. So all of that needs to, needs, needs to be fine, then you can sell it or you can eat it, but there is no point to eat, I guess. I'm not sure what it's doing. It's supposed to give you bonus, but I know what bonus and what is it affecting, so probably it's just useless. Better just sell everything. Uh, this is again. Um, Different. Those are starters, those are main cursors. This is very complex, as you can see. You have to boil, fry, and find eight parts, or seven. Seven parts, because the red and white mushrooms. So, seven parts. It's also using toxic mushroom for one unknown reason. And this is dessert. So, for instance, for syrup, you just boil uh, white sugar, or you can make one sh uh, white sugar from sugar beet. You cut it and then boil it. So, very, very complicated. But it's not that bad because you can just follow them. Uh, also, a problem here is that it's not very well divided. Just everything is one big uh, list. Like here is just everything. Some people asked to have it more uh, ordered, especially when it comes to the other crafting. This is the actual crafting. Uh, I don't know why it's divided into uh, stone and wood. Apparently, this is more for blocks. Also, dirt blocks come into what? To stone. I don't know why that block comes into stone. And so, of course, you have to get the parts, like dirt blocks, you just dig them out and you buy mortar in the shop and then you co construct it, right? And then you have the brick blocks you can use to build houses. Uh, once you get more recipes, which you have to buy, uh, or sometimes you just find it, some stuff is like hidden, and uh, then it appears here on the list. Same goes here for wood. Again, I don't know why it Everything is under wood. Uh, is it really wood? Well, bait boxes. Yeah, it's out of lumber, so kind of wood is used. So we have all kinds of stuff from just fine lumber. It comes from lumber, and lumber uh, you get from 
the sewing raw wood. So after you cut the wood, you get raw wood. Then you have to sew it on the uh, crafting table. Then you can uh, sew it again, and then you get the fine lumber. Barrel, you need nails that you have to buy, metal bands that you have to buy, lumber that you just get. Well, you have to sew it, and then you have to assemble it on the assemble table. So it's quite complicated, but it's uh, not so bad. Actually, it's like, like a few steps. Once you buy this and you have this, you just assemble, you have a barrel, you can sell it, or you can use it. You can also collect stuff from the world, no problem with that. So I think that's the most that the game has to offer. Uh, I didn't buy it all that much, I just mostly have this my little farm here. I don't know why they look like blocks, but they are not. I should probably buy more seed and just plant it or go into just some sort of wood track. I'm gonna show you maybe some uh, shops. There's actually two shops that are uh, most important. I don't know why I'm using this angle all the time. You can just loot this fence if you want, destroy it with a hammer and take it and sell it, no problem. Sometimes the buildings will stop being uh, full. For instance, this building needs those things. So if you take like shop shelves, it stop, uh, stops to be a general store. I'm not sure if you can still buy from it if you destroy it, so you have to be careful about it. But aside from two stores, you can probably destroy all the buildings, nothing will happen. So this is the general store, you can buy a seed here. Uh, you can buy food just like that. You want to combine it and do something. Also, some stuff that is just for uh, visuals, um, like balloons, like some cones. Uh, you can buy animals here, which are quite expensive. A cow is 15,000. And this is what? Also, also, a cow? No, it's a pig. I'm not sure how you get bacon from pigs if you don't kill anything, because you generally don't kill anything in this game. But some, somehow you get bacon from them. Also, there is pet food. If you want to feed your pet, then it's uh, going to give you also items. I, I probably should make this chicken feeding area and chickens, but I don't have the place for them yet. I was kind of thinking about making it like Dungeon Master and make rooms with uh, like chickens there underground, but that's a lot of work and a lot of digging, and we would need more money for that. Probably people have better ideas and projects, but I'm not that creative. Uh, right, this is the shipping catalog that you kind of need, and you can also get, for instance, sheep shears, which I don't use because I don't have any sheep. Uh, all the tools are also here quite cheap, so you can get them right from the shop. Then you can get stations and like this bookshelf that is gonna be your chest, or just put stuff on the table and big table, put it somewhere and just uh, do it like this. I could theoretically get cucumbers. Do we have those sugar beets? Uh, Tomato, where could be the sugar? Not sugar cane. I don't know when, when it grows. Potatoes, I don't see them actually. Those are recipes for cooking, and we also have ingredients for cooking. I'm just gonna check for those beets, and if I don't find them, we're going to finish. I'm not finish this, but just finish this part. I don't see them. I see sugar cane, I don't see the beetroots. And the other shop is the creating uh, shop where you have uh, three uh, crafting tables you can use. Maybe those bits are here. I don't know. Let's see. Are they here? They should be here. Strawberries. No, I don't I think that I want. Raspberries, blackberries. This is bushes with berries. Maybe we make like. You know what? I'm gonna put four bushes of each and we'll see how it works and this is what this is uh, the buildings uh, shop yeah you have these three sh uh, tables here but you need more to build everything so you just have to buy the stations anyway and here are some blocks for building some doors you can buy from here and uh, blocks as such if you don't want to make them you can just buy them in big number or you can buy them from the catalog it's up to you and here are the recipes, quite important if you want to make something yourself. Like you theoretically could make the chicken coop. Actually, you could take it. Let's see if there is also the other one. Uh, chicken coop and chicken feeding. Where is the chicken feeding? I don't see it. Okay, feeding and chicken coop. I'm gonna eat them. Uh, I'm gonna add them and we should be able to make it. Probably not now. And probably not on screen because I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a series from this game. 
and there are other people who make it better uh, just like playing those games alone of course if you want to play co-op you can ask I never played those games in co-op and I have no idea how the servers work uh, apparently you can set a server with no password and then people could join but uh, I didn't do it yet if you want to test it with me you can just leave me a comment I will play with you no problem I would just like to take something from it to my world or maybe we do it in my world because I'm selfish and uh, what else uh, I wanted to do something what did I want to do I wanted to prepare ah I wanted to eat them would be nice if you could uh, keep your tools somewhere just to use them, not on the main bar, because this is annoying. You can sell them by mistake, or you can just clock your entire quick slot bar, and then if you want to trade, you can't, which is a problem. Right, so we, we're going to check those new recipes. Let's see if they are anywhere. Now, the problem is we have to look for them, right? They're alphabetically. So you can also click here, and then you will see all the stuff you need. So chicken coop, it's not that hard to do actually, you need wood shingles, I don't know what it is. But aside from that, you could make it yourself actually. It's expensive, but then you can, you can make as many as you want. Nails you have to buy, but the rest is just wood. And feeding area is, again, wood, they're very easy to do actually, you can do them. Not now, but that's a good idea to actually pay once and have it. Would be also nice if those disappeared, or if you could see them in another uh, color, so you don't buy the same thing twice. It's quite problematic, problematic because you have to check your list, and if not, then buy it from here, because you can end up just buying. Or if you could just resell them for the same price, that would be nice. Kind of a problem with that. Would be nice to just unlock it somehow and just have them all, not check every time if you already bought them or not. Okay, so I'm going to my uh, farm. I'm gonna check. Yeah, this is gonna be an hour long video, but whatever. Uh, yes, control hints. What's the, what are control hints? Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, right, character designer. You can, yeah, you can design your character how, how he or she looks. So that's how my character looks. You have more, lots of hair, lots of eyes, and lots of colors for your uh, apparel. And she, right, so we are going to. Where am I? I should have a big arrow sign in the middle of this area to know where my home is. Because I have no sense of directions whatsoever. Maybe I should steal those. Let's see. You know what? I can steal them. Why not? I can steal some lamps. Mary had a little lamp. Uh, I'm stealing them. How many? I don't know. Maybe you steal four more. Because why not? We're gonna make a Narnia entrance or something with them. I just need one, but whatever. Let's have some backup. You never know what you need. So, steal everything. That's the, that's the name of the game. A steal. Should be called Stuck Steal, not Stuck Cell. Stuck and steal everything. Uh, where is this? Ooh, I lost. I just lost a lamp. Yeah. It's gone, whatever. Okay, so I was about to put some bushes. Maybe make a line of bushes here. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it fast, but it doesn't work. Oh, we have to sew them. Sew them? I don't know if that's the right word. How do you put seed in the ground? It's probably some word you have to use. Yeah, tilted soil. Eh, whatever. Just put them here. I don't know if I have to give them water and the other group can grow here. If those are actually the berry bushes, not the green ones that I saw before, they might give me something. Of course, we need to go back with our stuff, give them water. And the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make a track uh, around the world. And if we find anything interesting, I'm gonna show it to you. So just, uh, well, maybe I'll find a path. So somewhere might be the mine, but I don't know where. No idea where could be the mine. Maybe we should go there, because I apparently wasn't there. I think I was there, but I lost. Okay, so we just go there, straight beeline, like this. 
And if you find the, the mine, which probably is somewhere, I dig, uh, I dig probably some stone here, that's why there's a hole. So this is one of the ways to uh, make money in the game. You just go to the woods and uh, catch bugs. I think this is the bug net here. Yeah. But I don't see any bugs. That's what people say. Yeah, people say to do this, right? Catch bugs, sell bugs. You'll never be poor. Oh, this is a queen bee. Very important. Uh, she's important for making honey. So we caught one. And I just keep going. Maybe we should go higher and maybe then we'll see something. But mine will probably be low, not high. Can I just get more? Yeah, we just got achievement. So this is also helping you to progress. Uh, generally speaking, money isn't a problem. You just get it one way or, or another from something. You can just cut all the trees in one area and sell the wood and work it. Or maybe you can, I don't know, sell eggs from chickens. You have to feed them, that's the problem. You have to invest sometimes, but uh, some stuff you just take and sell and that's it. So there is actually a beach area. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the mine. Awesome. We found the mine. I'm going to show you the mine. Mine your own business. Uh, okay, so this is the beach. And you can basically use palm trees. I'm going to cut it. Let's see what happens. This is the palm tree. I think nothing happens. You just get wood. So we will need some wood for the uh, chicken coops. What is this? Swirly shell. Yeah, you can collect shells here and sell them. That's again one of the ways of making money. Supposedly they grow back. And what is, is strange, you can... How do you do it? Sponge. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. If you dig out uh, stuff, right, you will have the water like this. It's not a liquid. It's just a block. Just so that you know. So apparently there is uh, some amount of water in the world. And that's how you swim. Quite strange, but whatever. It's just visual, probably. This is generally the beach area to collect stuff if you have no money. That's that's what about it. Also some people were talking about uh, marking spots in the, in the game world. That would be nice. I agree with that. I would like to mark this spot as... Uh, yeah, I already lost it. Somewhere here was the mine, right? I already lost it. It's there. See? It's hard to say. Now you can probably get coordinates. I don't know if you can. You can look like this. Or somehow measure it against something. Like this is south from... This is north. If the mountains are in the north. So this is south from the mountains, right? At the very end, near the beach. But it's hard to find, really. You could easily go past it, never find it. Uh, also, there is no drop damage, I think. Uh, some people use those for uh, making paths in your um, farm. I'm just going to take some stuff from here. Let's just see how many slots we have. Okay, I'm just going to dig some stuff from here and we're going to finish. I'm taking those cards and I'm taking baskets and all those containers. If you take stuff, you usually just get this stuff from the same type. So you have to uh, only click once. What did I do? Something happened with my hammer. Oh, my hammer is there. If you want to take the hammer, you have to do it not like this, because you're going to place it. Now, now you break it. Sometimes you break it, sometimes you place it. So sometimes you can put your tool in the container instead of breaking it. So it's a problem with the, with the hammer. Uh, those I will just take. Oh, see again. I put it there. I don't want to place it. I want to break it. I, I place it again. Take it. Pick it up with the right mouse button. Break it. Break it. Those are... No, this is going to be the same problem. What if I break this? Oh, that now I can take it. Yeah, there's a problem with the containers. Place. I don't want to place. I want to break it. How you break it? Oh, you don't aim inside. You aim outside. Now you break it. Okay, so there's a way to do it. But it's kind of annoying, I would say. Those are easy to destroy. You just take them. Now I can sell tons and tons of stuff. Also, when you build, it's not exactly block near block. There's also a block in between. So sometimes when you build, there might be problems with that. It might not look like you want it to look. Some stuff might be in the wall. 
I'm gonna show it to you maybe here. So if you make a hole like this, it's only gonna take half the stone. Uh, this is a full full stone, full block, but to fill this hole is also one block. So it's like one and a half block, like one block, and then there's this gap that might look like half the block, but takes the same amount to fill it. Kind of strange. And yeah, I'm gonna loot some more, and then we're just going to see what's there. I'm taking more blocks, one more here. Of course, I could take all that wood from here and the other stuff. Are they glowing? Ah, cut. Society, whatever. Let's just see what's there. There's more blocks, uh, more. Yeah, we could just take them anytime. It seems to go very deep in, in, in into the something, into the ground. More uh, containers. Doors are glowing. What if we take them? If we break them, can we just put them back in the same place? Maybe we can. Yeah, that could actually work for our underground base. Let's see, can we place them? Yeah, we can and they glow. That's nice. So, free light source. I like it. That's nice. That's interesting. Okay, so let's take some glow shrooms, whatever they are called. I just want more. So I'm going to light my base during cold nights. Not warm it, but light it. And also got something for collecting mushrooms. They glow, I'm not gonna eat them, I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm just gonna fall asleep and wake up in the same mine. Uh, I didn't go to the very... Uh, well, to the very end of the earth, I would say. To the, to the core. I don't know what's there, so I didn't try. I think it's as deep as it goes. And yeah, it's not going any deeper. This is deeper. So I'm just going to go as deep as we can and then we finish. Can we drop down? Yes, we can. This is a very big place. Can I drop there? Well, if I destroy this, clearly I can. Alright. So we just go deeper and deeper. Same layout, pretty much. We're quite deep. I don't know if you can see the coordinates anyhow, but you could clearly take stuff from here. And then you can go back. What is it? Is it? No, it's just a, just a card. This one is with, yeah, this was tipped. Ah, it looks like this. It's just tipped. If you set back, it's gonna be tipped as well. More containers for sale. Now, if you're done with your looting, you can use, which, which is quite nice if you wanna um, manage your time well. You can use teleport home. I'm, I'm not sure if it takes time, but if you lost it, it definitely helps. We're gonna see if it's the same time of the day. Probably. Now what would happen if we put all our boxes into the uh yeah, twenty-eight of them? What if we just put them there? Let's see how much money is it. This is gonna solve our problems. Ah, almost two thousand. That's not bad. That's quite nice. Different types of mushrooms. They don't go in one spot. Uh, okay, and this is what is a block? This is this tipped minecart. Oh, okay, we can use those as well. If we sell them, it's gonna be how much? Ah, oh, quite a lot. But I'm gonna use them. I'm actually going to use them. Let's put them near the berries. Like this. I'm not, not sure if they're ever gonna be useful, but kinda looks like prepared for uh, our new well, source of income. Not that I have to put it to boxes, I don't have to. But maybe it will look nice. It depends what you consider looking nice. Not much really environment uh, when you look at the sky. So yeah, that would be it for this game. Uh, a long review and some guidelines for you. Uh, as I said before, if you want to play with me, you have to leave me a comment. I'm going to give you my uh, Steam name which is Tensor, probably I'm not showing anywhere but it's just Tensor like in Tensor's change uh, in Donuts and Dragons, Tensor, six letters uh, so we could try it in multiplayer 
Uh, aside from that, I'm probably gonna play it. Uh, I kind of like those games. I keep some of those um, crafting, building, farming games in my on my hard disk, so I'm not deleting them. I like this game. Uh, how many points? Uh, I would actually give it eight out of ten. I like it personally. Maybe let's go to many, so I don't lose all my time of day. Uh, some people say it gets old. It's not enough content. It depends what you wanna do because if you are into creative building, then there is clearly a lot of content. Uh, if you want to, if you want to fight and do maybe something else, uh, then you might look for another game where there is combat, like Cube Life or just Minecraft or Portal Knights. Uh, for a farm simulator, I really like it. It's uh, kinda like Stardew Valley, but not as complex. But it's 3D, so it might be a plus. Uh, does the game goes deeper? Well, there is four seasons. And there is definitely a lot of uh, recipes to find and unlock. Uh, you can build as much as you want, of course, but for that you can just play Creative Earth, which is free. Uh, however, yeah, I like the buildings here. I like the effects of uh, when you build something. Uh, I like the assets in the game. I like the amount of content. I mean, 1.9 thousand assets, that's a lot. And hopefully the game is going to grow a bit and be patched and improved. Uh, many people play those games because uh, they are very creative and they just build mostly. And you can definitely do it here. You can also play it in multiplayer, hopefully. Well, I didn't try, but I probably will try at some point. Uh, I played on my own. Uh, I'm not sure how it works. Maybe you just take your entire inventory to somebody's world and then go back. It's hard to say. Maybe you choose a character which you take. But the characters don't level up, so maybe they are just by name. Hard to say, really. If you can help someone and take some stuff to your home and then sell it, that would be nice. But theoretically, you could just loot their entire place and uh, steal it and run away. It's strange. Probably should just play with friends. Uh, or on your own. It's, it's fun on, on your own. I played for six hours and I'm happy I'm not finished with the game. So, uh, I would say 8 out of 10 recommendation. A very nice block based Minecraft like farming simulator. It's mostly farming simulator, but you can also cre creatively uh, build and dig. Maybe even, well, it depends what you want. Uh, to some extent, it's better than Portal Knights because usually in Portal Knights you fall down because those um, islands have holes when you look from the bottom. So you can just fall through it. On the other hand, they have uh, Portal Knights have uh, has um, better assets. They are prettier. They, they definitely just have prettier um, wall textures and block textures. Very similar game in in that matter. In, when it comes to building, it just looks better, but it has less farming, more combat. So probably if you like those games, you're gonna play both. Uh, I also bought um, Starbound recently. I very much like Starbound as a 2D game, which does all those things. So overall, um, you usually don't stop on one game if you like it. If you like this, you probably want to play Stardew Valley, you want to play Starbound, you want to play uh, Portal Knights and more, uh, much more. Maybe also some survival games, clearly survival games, like Planet Explorers, Planet Nomads, um, what else? Uh, maybe The Forest, which is more like building a fort and fighting, but again, similar. I am very much into the genre. I like those elements. They usually add depth to the game and um, customization. All this, not necessarily survival, but uh, digging, crafting, and building. If this is done well, the game is usually good. And in this case, it is done. It is done well. Uh, there are interactions between your assets. Uh, you can choose the way you have your farm. You can just have one type of plant. You can grow trees. You can forage for resources. You can steal. Well, there is no stealing, but you can just take everything that's not laid down. Well, actually, you can take everything in the game, not necessarily sell it, but you can take it. Uh, also, I have a little bit of problem with quests. I have no idea how you um, how you trigger quests. Uh, should I do something with the peer at this point, or is it bugged, or should I just wait? Also, I don't get uh, much in my mail, like for 16 or more, actually, like 18 days. Uh, I didn't get anything, no random quests. Uh, there are quests where you can just uh, look for a lost item, but I think most important part is the, the quests that give you new buildings uh, or new recipes or basically new um, blueprints. 
and then supposedly you get something like quests from NPCs so you are supposed to give, uh, well not give, uh, build houses for them and meet all the requirements. There is also something like a laboratorium and uh, museum. But I have no idea how you trigger it. So if you can help me out and please help me because I don't know. I would need to probably consult the wiki. I tried the wiki but there wasn't much information there. Uh, there are some people who are experts in those games. So you might try to look on YouTube for uh, like a very long detailed playthrough and find this place that you just interested in. I was looking for some stuff as well. But uh, some stuff is just a mystery. I, I have no idea how you make uh, more quests up here, what we are supposed to do. Okay guys, uh, so that was Staxel, a very long uh, review slash basic guide for the game. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was long. I think I gave you uh, at least the, basic for the uh, basics for the game, like one hour of the game and um, or less, with two days and something of gameplay, pure gameplay and my thoughts of, of stuff that could be improved. Overall I can recommend the game. Uh, I also wanted to thank for uh, giving me the key for this game because it's not that cheap, it's like $15 or so. So it's actually a game that I was interested in, I wanted to play it. I saw some uh, early alpha videos, I was very interested in it and I enjoyed it, I liked the game. It stays on my disc, I'm gonna build more and farm more. Uh, it's kind of a problem that you don't really have a goal, it's a, more a sandbox. Uh, I'm not sure how far the quests go, but at some point you just have way too much money and you just uh, build creatively or you are done with the game because, well, if you make a million then what are you gonna do with that? Maybe for, for achievements, but aside from that you don't really need all that much money, aside from just for the sake of doing it. It would be nice to have some sort of campaign or different worlds or, or like different planets. Uh, it's always better when it's bigger. Like, you know, Starbounds beats it with uh, types of planets where you can dig and even farm, even make colonies. Not farm as much as here, maybe, but you kind of can do it. Here you're just this one randomly generated world. I think you can make it also. Let's just check one thing. Mm, you can do, do what? You can, yeah, you can uh, allow friends join. You can also make creative mode, so nothing uh, costs money. And I'm pretty sure you could make new world that is custom. Is it custom? Yes. You can make it advanced and use a seed and a numeric value and you can make the world bigger. Right? So you could do it this way. You could just have a bigger world. But it would be nice if it had like some progression, like, you know, different farm elsewhere or some system of teleports, like portal lines, you know, they have uh, all those um, islands where you can jump from one to the other, they have different biomes and so on. So it might not be as a big game in every aspect, but it, it's definitely going to scratch some each that you have, you know, it's definitely, you can build, you can dig, you can farm. But you might also want to play other games to like have the full experience. None of those games really actually gives you full experience. You always look for something that is done better than is done differently in another game. You have to play pretty much all those games to have full experience. So if you want to do the same on different planets, you have to buy Starbound. If uh, you want to fight, you have to buy Portal Knights. If you want to uh, farm, you can do it here and so on. You can also do some stuff in Creativeverse, you can also do some stuff in Minecraft and so on. Uh, overall, I'm very satisfied with this game. Uh, aside from this one uh, grey screen bug, I didn't really experience any bugs. So I would like the game to be, well, bigger, more stuff, and maybe some user interface changes to make it uh, just more pleasant. For instance, the selling stuff, or maybe your tools should be used automatically if you using the if you have them in your inventory this is also a solution that I saw once just if you have the tool it uses the tool on the concrete thing right so it don't doesn't have to be in your uh, quick bar you just click on the tree and it uses axe you click on the rock it uses pickaxe uh, and it's more convenient so you could use the quick bar for selling which would make much more sense than have it clocked with all the tools but that's just my suggestions so that would be it for stack cell. Uh, that was the review and and the guide and my loose thoughts. I uh, hope you 
enjoyed it and didn't get completely bored by my rambling. And I will see you guys in the next review, probably shorter. But Staxel is really a nice game. 8 out of 10. I will see you guys in the next review.